everyone, this is Raka. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. And again, before I start off with this video, I just want to apologize again for uh, being MIA. Uh, it's simply because obviously as I mentioned before uh, it's been pretty busy lately for me and I've been doing a lot of traveling and I finally got back home and I've gotten the chance to uh, make this video for you guys uh, don't worry I am definitely documenting everything that's going on with me right now and hopefully I'll be able to post them uh, in a couple of months and you guys will be able to see what I've been up to with regards to uh, replying to your comments on YouTube and uh, other uh, private messages that you guys have been sending me I'm really sorry that things have been delayed usually I uh, take turns and I uh, reply to a whole bunch of comments uh, at a time but since recently has been so crazy busy for me I've not even gotten around to do that but now that I'm back home I've gotten time to uh, make videos and also to reply to your comments and please uh, continue leaving your comments guys I love listening to your suggestions and your uh, your opinions about um, about the things that I talk about on YouTube so please continue doing that and I will definitely get back to you uh, as soon as possible now coming to the topic of this video I have received so many questions from you guys um, about whether medical school is right for you and how to know whether medical school is the right path for you to take now this is a very big question but it is also a very important question and I'm glad that you guys came out and asked this question at the right time and I'm glad that I'll be able to give you guys my insight and my my personal uh, opinion about this topic so let me just start by saying um, I wanted to go to medical school ever since I was a young girl. Um, I don't know why that got triggered in me, but I just wanted to be a doctor ever since I was, I think, eight. And I never fluctuated from that dream. Uh, obviously, as a child, uh, my reason reasoning was not that great. But as I got older, uh, my reasoning got more stronger. I just liked the profession. Uh, it's it, it seemed like such a noble profession where you can help others and and cause a difference to someone's life and that's the reason I really wanted to go into medical school. Now the first thing that I want to tell you guys is do not enter medical school unless you really want it. Don't enter medical school for the wrong reasons and when I say wrong reasons I mean don't join medical school because your parents said that's a good idea or your friends are all going into medical school or you want to be rich or make a lot of money because trust me guys there are so many professions out there that can make a whole lot more money than even doctors you can do so many other professions to make money if that is your main goal but going into medical school and becoming a doc doctor just for that purpose is not a good idea guys i would not suggest that i've met very successful doctors and surgeons who are so talented in what they do and i am absolutely stunned and shocked when i find out that they did not want to be a doctor in the first place and they got into medical school for all the wrong reasons maybe their family uh, kind of persuaded them to join medical school etc and that made me very sad because i think medical school is something that you should do only if you truly truly want it um, and you truly have the passion for it and there are obviously only these exceptional cases where you, stu you still do succeed and still do really well in medical school in spite of the fact that you didn't want it in the first place but most of the times guys I believe that the outcome won't be very nice if you are sort of forced into medical school and you did not really truly want it because I've had several occasions during medical school where I really felt down and I felt really uh, demotivated and the only thing that was keeping me going was my motivation and my drive and my passion for becoming a doctor and that's the only thing that kept me going um, in those times and if you don't even have that motivation and that passion for your end goal of being a doctor then it's going to be really difficult for you to get over those tough times and get over those hardships that you face in medical school and even after that um, so I would say it would be very difficult for you to um, succeed and uh, do extremely well in uh, the field if you are not having the true passion for uh, becoming a doctor. 
the next point I want to mention is that if you do want to enter medical school, it would be great if you love studying. Now, I'm not saying you need to be the top of your class in high school or in pre-med, but it would be good if you really enjoy studying and you you find it um, you don't you don't find it a burden to study. Because let me tell you guys, once you enter medical school, you have to study a lot. And I'm not exaggerating, I am not sugarcoating this in any way, I'm just going to tell you guys, it is a lot to study. Um, you will be having exam after exam and when you're just done with one exam, you'll need to start studying for the next and you're not studying just one subject, you'll be studying several subjects with huge books and you have presentations and slides that you need to go through and it's a lot of studying guys. And Along with that studying comes a lot of stress, a lot of stress to perform well in your exam or even pass your exam for that matter. I personally absolutely enjoyed studying my whole life. liked to study, get down and read something and uh, study for an exam and I, I honestly, as weird as it sounds, I really enjoyed the exam process. And when I used to tell my friends in medical school that I, I really loved this exam process, they used to think oh my god you're crazy what's wrong with you you like exams and that's just who I am I just like that that stressful situation where you're building up for an exam and then you're done with your exam and then that euphoria that you have once you're done I just like that entire process and even now looking back my final MD exams in medical school were the best time of my life I absolutely love the exam process I love taking all the exams whether it was theory or whether it was a clinical exam I enjoyed waiting for my results and getting totally ecstatic when I got my um, results and um, yeah that's just me so I would say it's very very important that you really enjoy studying because you're gonna be doing that for probably the rest of your life if you end up going into medical school because to be honest once you go into that route of medicine I don't think that process of studying ever ends because once you're done with medical school, you'll be in residency and then you go into fellowship and then you have to constantly keep updating your knowledge, keep reading articles, keep learning about new advancements in your field or your specialty and you need to keep studying in order to keep up to date and be able to give your patients the best possible care that you can and for that reason the studying process for doctors never ends so if you're a type of person who does not like studying or just finds it just too stressful for you or you want it you like to study but not for the rest of your life then i would uh, urge you to reconsider what you want to do and whether you really want to go into medical school because as i said studying is never ending in medicine and you will be constantly studying whether whether or not you have exams or not you will be constantly studying another thing that you should consider is stress now if you're a person who does not deal with stress very easily I would say think properly before you decide to go into medical school I'm not saying that there is no stress in others uh, other fields of course there's stress where in whatever you do but in, in medical school, there's even more stress than you would encounter in other fields, for example. So I remember being so stressed during medical school. And even after I graduated, there are so many instances where you feel so stressed before an exam or that stress of doing well or performing well. You always have that need to do well and and perform well that you have that constant stress in your mind that I need to do well or I have an exam coming up or what am I going to do next and that is something that may get the best of us sometimes but you need to learn how to deal with that appropriately and it is definitely possible guys I believe anything is possible and if you really uh, find that way of dealing with your stress in an effective way I think you will not have a problem with um, a medical school but if you're a type of person who feels that too much stress will get the best of you and that you will not be able to deal with it in the right way then I would say seriously consider or reconsider whether you do want to go for medical school or not and now talking about uh, social life and uh, your personal life uh, because some of you even mentioned that specifically about the fact that you are uh, a little worried about how it's going to affect your social and personal life now let me be honest with you yes doctors do have 
uh, still do have a wonderful social and personal life of course it is possible to have it all but it definitely is altered if you're in medical school your social life is not gonna be like your friends who are let's say not in medical school for example whenever there was a party or a big event i could not go for many of them because i had always uh, an exam coming up and i had to study for it and i knew that i couldn't waste any time and so i would say even though i did have a great time during medical school i would say a lot of the fun or the parties were definitely uh, put to a minimum. I definitely went to a lot less parties and a lot less events during medical school than I would have if I was not in medical school. So if you're a type of person who would really not like that and who would really want to go for every event and every party that there is and you would feel really bad if you had to miss any of that, then yeah, I think you need to again reconsider what you want to do um, for university and you should probably reconsider uh, the possibility of another option other than medical school so let's put aside the negatives and let's talk about the positives now obviously uh, going to medical school has its own charm um, you learn about so many interesting things and you understand so many things about the human body and about diseases and conditions that didn't make any sense to you prior to that and i think if you're a person who loves science and loves biology and li loves medicine you will really really find that interesting that you finally understand how things work and and why things happen the way they do and I think that was that was just amazing moreover once you graduate you are a doctor and you are responsible for people's lives and taking care of people and people look up to you as the person who's gonna help them and take care of them and help them feel better and I think honestly there is no better feeling in the world than that and I believe this is a profession where just your mere presence in the room with your patient or the patient's family itself makes them feel so good and so calm and so relieved just by your mere presence and that is something really special I believe and that is truly worth I believe it's truly worth all the years of medical school and that hard work and missing out on events and and studying day in and day out pulling all-nighters I think that final feeling that you get and that final satisfaction that you get from your patients is worth all of it and I think the whole process of going through medical school and then thinking about residency and then thinking about fellowship is just a very nice process altogether and I think it's absolutely worth it um, it's one of those noble professions that is really really um, satisfying and gives you a lot of reason to feel good about yourself and obviously all of us love to feel good about ourselves and if you're that type of person who likes to help others and get that sort of feeling of uh, relieving someone else's pain or anguish then yes this is definitely the route for you so that is just my opinion and, and some of the thoughts that I have about um, those of you who are questioning whether you do or do not want to go into medical school. I hope this sort of gave you some kind of insight about medical school and what it has to offer and uh, whether or not it's the right decision for you to be in medical school. Um, if I missed out on any pointers that you want to know about medical school, please leave a comment in the comments bar below and I will get back to all of you as soon as possible. And uh, please let me know if you have any more uh, questions with regards to this topic or anything related to this topic. And as I've mentioned before, please continue leaving your suggestions in the comments bar below. Um, I will definitely take a look at them and I will uh, work on making a video on your suggestion. And until I see you guys in my next video, bye!